hello good morning so today we are going to do a skill for fluid balance and first of all you will be provided with the form like this with patient name date hospital number total intake so like 8 o'clock 200 ml tea 9 o'clock 300 ml juice then 1000 hours 500 ml soup 1100 hours 100 ml tea so and so on and then there is parenteral fluid input normal saline 1000 ml was given started at 8 o'clock finished at 1600 hours and the, uh, the next thing you have here is urine output all the readings are here so we need to place it on our chart you will be having 15 minutes for this skill and uh, it seems like very easy and silent station there will be no there will be no mannequin or no assessor only you with your papers with this fluid chart and this one so you have to complete this in 15 minutes so let's get started we need to complete the patient detail Edward Smith, make sure you are writing it correctly, date is 12-1-21 and the hospital number is 006-478. Okay, so 8 o'clock, he was given 200 ml tea, then 9 o'clock, 300 so we need to write the unit as well 10 o'clock 500 ml 11 o'clock 100 ml then at 1800 hours 400 ml 1900 hours 200 ml and then at 4 200 ml so the oral section make sure you write you wrote all the things there so you should have five readings here one two three four five six oh one two three four five six seven so one two three four five six seven okay let's go with the parental fluid so normal saline thousand ml started at eight o'clock finished at 1600 hours so we can write here normal saline So in 1000 ml divided by 8 hours, so if you count it, it will be 8 hours, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So it's total of 8 hours. Yeah. So just divide the 1000 ml by 8. So it will give you a reading of 125 ml per hour. So we'll, we are starting at 8 as is stated here, 8 o'clock, 125 ml then 125 ml till 1600 hours 125 ml so make sure you have eight columns with 125 ml the basic trick is if it's given here 1600 hours you have to finish it at 1500 hours so in 1600 column there should be nothing so 1600 nothing 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so total of 8 hours okay and then we need to write here our total so in one hour he got 200 ml and 125 ml so it's 325 ml then 300 ml plus 125 ml 425 ml 500 plus 125 ml 625 100 plus 125 225 then 125 125 125 same goes here 
400 when there is nothing here you can just leave it blank all right and then how do we do the total input so the first column will go as 325 then in the second one you need to calculate this one and this one so 325 plus 425 that will be total of 750 then 750 plus 625 1375 1375 plus 225 1600 then 1600 plus 125 1725 1725 plus 125 1850 plus 125 1975 plus 125 2100 then we have to calculate again the same way 2100 plus 400 2700 and then 2900 so we have got a total of 2900 of total input yep now we have to go for the urine so 10 o'clock 10 o'clock 400 ml urine so it's stated here 10 o'clock 400 then 11 o'clock 200 Then at 1600 hours, 500, then 1900 hours, 800 ml, 19, 800 ml, then at 6 o'clock, 400 ml, make sure you count it, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so the hour total will be 400, uh, 200, 500, 800 and then 400 ml. Okay, so same goes here 400 and 200, 600, then 500, 1100, then 800, 1900 ml. You can write the ml with it. Then 1900 plus 400 ml, 2300 mils. So you've got a total of 2900 input minus 2300 output. You can write it like that and it's equal to 600. So you need to find it which one is the more so 2900 is the greater one here 2900 which is input if input is more then it's positive if it's the output is output is more than the input then it's negative so in our case it's positive 600 ml positive you need to write it complete then you need to write your full name here your signature okay so i hope it was easy i tried to do it i tried to do it in the most easiest way i hope you guys understand and if you have any questions about it please do let me know